Okay, uh, <clears throat> so natapos na natin yung isolated uh, putting design. No? So, uh, mag-combined putting naman tayo. Okay, so balik tayo dito sa geometry. So, ito, ma, it, itong anim na columns na to, so magdi-design tayo each column pair na to ng, uh, ng combined putting. Okay, so ngayon, punta tayo dito sa create new job. Okay. So, ang gawin natin dito, uh, file name natin is combined putting. Okay, combined putting, then job type, set up natin as combined. Okay, design code US, uh, unit is SI. Okay, select lang natin to. Okay, then assign to selected support. Okay, assign to selected support. Then, uh 31811 tayo and ito rin so okay so 318m para sa calculation so ngayon okay tapat ko lang doon dalin ko lahat ng load combination yung lahat ng load uh primary load case and load combination dito then ibabalik ko tong primary load case so hindi natin kailangan yan okay so yung uh <coughs> factor and service lang then so Okay, pay attention dito, no? magdadagdag siya ng uh, bagong line item pag kinlik ko yung create job. So, pag click ko ng create job, ayun. So, naging combined putting job siya. So, kanina isolated. So, dito mo rin makikita, meron tayong project browser or job browser. Okay? So, ayan. So, combined putting tayo. Okay. So, hindi tayo didiretso agad sa design parameters, no? Gaya ng ginawa natin sa... sa uh, <clears throat> sa isolated putting design no? so currently selected yung mga putting makikita mo naka-highlight so click ka lang anywhere sa space para mag-deselect isa-select ko yung dalawang putting na to i mean yung dalawang uh, support na to then kailangan kong i-click ito i-click itong create from selected nodes para malaman nung program na sila yung yung uh, mag-share ng putting okay so Yon. So, pag-click ko, so nakita nyo nag-connect siya, which is putting C1. So, select ko naman ito ngayon. So, click ko ito. Ayan. Then, lastly, ito. Then, click. So, tatlong combined putting tayo. Okay? Tatlong combined putting. Then, uh, mag-input na, mag, uh, na tayo ng parameters natin. So, unit weight ng concrete is 24. Minimum bar spacing is 250 at 50. Maximum is 250. Yield strength of steel is 225. Then, uh, minimum putting bar size. Uh, okay, gamit tayo ng 12. Okay. Then, maximum 25. Let's say, then set as default. Okay, so click yes. Then, uh, sa cover and soil. So, kung may pedestal man, pero wala tayong pedestal. Uh, putting clear cover 75 unit weight 18 okay soil bearing capacity so 90 pa rin and putting embedment is 1.2 meter same pa rin ano fix at bottom start charge wala minimum contact 50 then set okay then set as yes okay so almost same lang ito dun sa isolated putting job natin ano then uh Column eccentricity, okay, pwede ka rin maglagay ng eccentricity, no, uh, meron man, okay, so pero wala tayong eccentricity doon, ano, then sliding and overturning, uh, 0 0.3, 1 0.5, so 0 0.5 tayo dito kanina, okay, set as default, yes, then click design, click yes, ayon, okay, so, punta sa J drawing, Ayon. So, uh, nandun na yun. Uh, so, meron tayong isolated, tsaka meron na tayong combined putting. So, actually kasi, naka-uncheck ito. Okay? By, de by default, naka-check yan. Itong show GA drawing for current job only. Pero pag in-uncheck mo to, tsaka kinlik mo yung refresh, ayun. So, lalabas yung, yung lahat ng putting job na... Uh, ginawa natin which is yung isolated and yung combined okay so kaya nag-appear siya okay so 
para dun sa isolated putting natin. So, 1.2 ito. No? I mean, 1 meter ito yung width. Ano? Then, overhang is 1.5. 1.5. Pero, nan, uh, overhang 1 meter. So, check na natin ito. So, 1.5. Set ko muna to para sa makakonsentrate muna tayo sa combined putting. So, one po. So, almost same. Okay, same size lang sila. Okay. Anyway, uh, galing naman kasi hindi naman talaga siya dapat combined. Eh, from this design na ginawa natin. No? Inassume lang natin na uh, nag-overlap yung mga putting kanina. Okay. Uh, this is for tutorial purposes only. So, kaya nag... Uh, Ayun, uh, uh, para maka-design tayo ng stud foundation. Uh, I mean, maka-design tayo ng combined putting stud foundation. Uh, ayun, uh, ginawa natin to as sample. Ngayon, 1 meter kasi yung minimum eh. Pwede mong gawing minimum is 1.2. Then baka yung overhang niya is uh, or ah yung width na pala niya is 1.5. Okay, width is 1.5 then 1 meter, 1 meter yung overhang. Okay, so Pwede mo kasing iset up itong width na to, let's say 2 meter. So, itong overhang lilit. Okay? So, anyway, try natin. Ano? So, punta tayo sa putting geometry. Okay, so, minimum width. If gawin natin kaya 1.2, let's say. Okay? So, yung total length niya is 3.5. Ano? Check natin, design. Click yes. Punta tayo sa J drawing. Uh, naging 3.6. Okay? So, okay, so, uh, kasi nag-minimum tayo ng 1.2, okay, pero as per the design, nag-1.3. Okay, then naging 3.6. Okay, so, mag-puting geometry, so, i-change natin yung minimum, let's say, 1.8, ano? Then, uh, overhang, mag-start lang tayo ng 600 siguro. Okay, then click natin design. So, meron kang control dun uh, sa size ng putting. Ayan. So, 1.8, yun sa 1.850, then yun yung length. Ayan. Ayan. So, ayan. So, uh, nasa inyo kung uh, paano discard ito, design yung gagawin nyo. Okay, so pag in-uncheck ko to, then nag-refresh ako, then yun na yung Ito na yung uh, foundation plan ko. Okay? So, ngayon, uh, may last sample pa tayo. Yung eccentric uh, isolated uh, put. Yung eccentric isolated putting. So, let's say for some reason yung mga putting sa likod, no? Uh, restricted ka. Let's say may boundary. May, may yung, ano no? Yung lat mo is... Uh, may, uh, yung boundary ng lat mo is nandito na. Hindi ka pwedeng... Hindi pwedeng lumagpas yung putting mo doon sa kabilang... Lot. Okay, so ayun. So, gawin natin eccentric putting itong mga nasa likod. Okay? So, ngayon punta tayo dito sa geometry. Okay. Then, tanggalin natin sa sa isolated putting. Now, balik tayo ng isolated. Tanggalin natin yung 1 to 3. Okay? So, i-edit i-edit current job natin ito, no? So, uh, instead na okay, pwede it, putting 1, 2, 3 kasi ito eh. So, tanggalin ko na lang ito. Ayan. So, 10 to 12 lang. Yung nasa harap. Then, uh, i-click ko edit current job. Okay. Then, pag kinlik ko yung design. Okay. So, so, same output pa rin yung makukuha nyo. No? So, same output pa rin yan. So, huwag kayo mag-alala doon. Yun lang. Hindi nag-design na yung putting sa likod. Kasi hindi na natin siya in-include. Pero gagawa tayo ng bagong uh, job para doon. No? So, let's say, eccentric putting yung mga nasa likod. Okay. So, punta tayo ng geometry. Then, select natin ito. Yung tatlong uh, putting doon. Then, create tayo ng new job. Okay. So, type yung eccentric. Okay, centric putting. So, isolated pa rin yan, ano? Okay, so, lalagyan lang natin ng eccentricity. Mamaya. Then, default unit type. SI. Uh, okay. 
assign to selected support. Okay. So, okay lang yan kasi selected yung mga supports na yun. So, 31811 pa rin tayo. Tsaka, uh, yun pa rin tayo. 318M. Uh, okay. Then, dali natin yung mga loads dito. Then, pero yung primary load, babalik natin. Then, click create job. Ayan. So, tatlo yung naging job natin no, sa isang file name. Yung isolated, combined, tsaka ito na yung eccentric, yung nasa likod. Okay. So, ngayon, so, design parameters na tayo. Uh, hindi na natin kailang mag-input pa uli dito, no? Kasi ito na yung same input natin kanina. So, babalik lang tayo dito sa uh, eccentricity, no? Dito, babalik lang tayo dito sa putting geometry. Okay. So, itong Then, mag-type ako dito, let's say, negative 600. Okay, so, para mag-move pa baba itong, ano, no, yung, yung, I mean, ma so, yung column natin, uh, yung column natin, which is, mas malapit dun sa edges sa itaas ng puting. Okay? So, kaya negative 600 yung input ko dito. Okay, then, i-click ko lang yung design, then click yes. Okay. Uh, then GA drawing ayun ayan so ayan eccentric putting na yan okay so ayan so so ganun lang uh, kadali ano uh, so isolated ka rito okay then isolated din dito pero eccentric putting then dito kan dito naman is combined putting. So, same ng pag-review natin ng calculation. Okay, doon sa isolated. Okay, so ayan. So, so ito yung mga calculation niya na na-generate. So, bearing pressure kasi naka-MM ano. So, i-set up lang natin yung unit into meter. And click OK. Uh, then ayun so ito na yung mga actual uh, <coughs> uh, bearing capacity ano? actual soil bearing capacity actual soil bearing okay mm, ayan okay then Okay, punching, one-way shear, both sides, then reinforcing calculation. Okay. So, ito yung J-drawing, then meron yung basic detail. Okay. Okay, or schedule ng drawing. Okay, then itong J-drawing na ito, pwede mo itong i-export. Uh, i okay, uh, as DXF, then open mo sa AutoCAD. Okay. Uh, okay, so for the meantime, uh, ito muna yung yung puting design natin, no? pero naka-line up din yung uh, mat foundation, tsaka yung uh, pile cap foundation. So, soon, uh, gagawa ko ng tutorial para doon. Okay, so thank you and see you for more videos.